Welcome to our regional competition for the 2012 Sanofi Biogenius Challenge Canada. It was an amazing experience. I definitely learned a lot and I'm never going to forget it. We got to work with live cells and we got to see them under the microscope and it was so cool learning things about your own body. Great experience because I, I never get to... because uh, the, the, the equipments weren't available in high school, right? It's amazing to see all these kids and all this research that they're doing. They are paired up with a mentor and they do real research in a real lab and the research is usually cutting edge, it's new stuff, no one's done it before. It's a very high level of competition. It's one of the only student project competitions where the students actually get to go and work in a lab. I mean, science fair is wonderful, but you can do a science fair project, which is just literally a, a literature search and a presentation. This, this competition actually gets the students right into the lab and gets them to try doing real life experiments. And of course, we hope that that will uh, tr trigger an interest in pursuing a career in biotechnology. My project is about the anti-colorectal cancer activity of an essential oil from lemongrass. I was at this Thai restaurant and this waiter told me that Thailand had the lowest cancer death rate in the world. I extracted some oil from lemongrass using steam distillation, then using various methods such as western blotting, um, fax, and also immunoblotting. I found out how it was inducing apoptosis in the cells. My name is Zoe Lee. I'm from Sir Winston Churchill Secondary School. This year my project's on the effects of calcitriol on the macrophage response to islet amylase polypeptide. I chose this topic because I actually did something on uh, IAPP last year. I'm really interested in diabetic research because, well, my grandmother is diabetic and that's how I was first introduced to it. My name is Oxel. And my name is Sana Javahari. Dengue is one of the most common dangerous viruses in the world. So we decided to do the interruption of olfaction in Aedes aegypti, the mosquito vector of dengue virus. Olfaction actually has a great influence on um, the host, their host preference and their host behavior. And we were hoping to interrupt this by injecting double-stranded RNA. Upon examination, we found that interruption of olfaction did not happen and normal blood feeding patterns occurred. I'm Carol. And I'm Coco, and we're both from Sir Winston Churchill Secondary School. Our project basically looks at the paradoxical relationship between sunshine and melanoma cells. So they tell you not to go into the sun, but we found that perhaps sunlight may actually help prevent the development of melanoma. I'm sunlight. No. Oh. Oh. Die, die! Oh. Yeah. My name is Isabella Versa and I go to York House School. My project is about the effects of capsaicin, which is the spicy component in chili peppers, on the formation of fat cells. My grandmother, she always said that chili peppers were really good for you. So I was learning about stem cells and I wanted to see what was the effect of chili peppers on stem cells. So that's how I came up with this experiment. <laughs> My name is Lindsay Richter. I'm from Dr. Charles Beth Secondary in Coquitlam. I've always been interested in Parkinson's disease. Um, my grandfather actually has Parkinson's disease and I just wanted to research further into it and learn more about really what's affecting him. This is testing of epicotechin, which is a component of cocoa. So I'm basically seeing if cocoa can be neuroprotective in a model of Parkinson's disease. My name is Miranda and this is Jeannie. Uh, we're from McGee Secondary School in Vancouver. Our project saw phthalate degrading bacteria from the Fraser River estuary. We isolated 14 strains of bacteria from the soil that have shown efficiency in degrading phthalates, which are toxic commercial plasticizers uh, that have shown to cause cancer and many other health issues. This may be the solution to future contamination of water and soil and could be implemented towards bioremediation and wastewater treatment. Hi, my name is Maggie Wang and I'm from the International Baccalaureate Program at Sir Winston Churchill Secondary School. I tested the effects of two extracts from the magnolia tree and their effects on breast cancer cells. Ponocol has already been tested in one line of breast cancer cells, so I thought it would have a similar effect. And magnolia is actually quite similar to Ponocol, which is why I tried that. I'm John Soup and I'm from Centennial High School. And my project is about a novel cell migration assay for lymphocytes in type 1 diabetes. I was originally going to research hepatitis B, but when I came upon this uh, Professor Vershear, he was an expert in type 1 diabetes, he told me about things about chemokines. And this chemokines chemicals is actually involved in many other diseases, such as hepatitis C. So I became interested in this 
So I decided to make a migration assay to test the ability of this chemokine. Hi, my name is Kayla and I'm from York House School. For my project, I wanted to investigate the accuracy of food labeling. So I wanted to sequence the DNA of smelt eggs and flying fish eggs to see if one could possibly be the substitute for the other because smelt eggs are slightly cheaper than those of flying fish, but they're similar in size, shape, sometimes color and taste. So I thought that we should be more aware that suppliers can sometimes trick us into eating species that are sometimes endangered or that have high levels of mercury. It was amazing because he taught me how to do so many different techniques and not just the ones on here. We got a, I learned a lot of different options and how to do them and it was really amazing. It's very different from working at school, like the textbook, you're actually there doing the actual research. It's, it was a lot of fun. We were able to do a lot of hands-on things. Um, we made lots of mistakes and we corrected ourselves, faced challenges and overcame them, so it was good. We had the opportunity to learn some very advanced techniques, so um, that would be infinitely beneficial for us.